Naisha McCauley, and you're watching AccessTV.org. Good morning, everybody. Today is May 1st. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness, the snow is gone. I'm so glad, I'm so glad. I just wanted to tell everybody, I had a fabulous time last weekend. I hit two places at the same night. I don't believe that. But it was Saturday last weekend at Passages, real nice. Uh, let's see, golly, Linda Ransom. I wanna say hello to you and beautiful job. And the Turkish gentleman that I had met that I took a picture with, is not on Facebook yet, but uh, Sinan Bakir, uh, he's Turkish, nice, different type of music. I always like to go to different places and hear music. And I uh, just want to tell you about what's happening in Hartford next week. Uh, next Friday, uh, we got the Come and Sip and See by Innocence. Um, natural products. So I want everybody to come down to Passages 509 Farmington Avenue, where I meet great people. And I also network. I love networking with people. I uh, just want to tell you about a couple things that are coming up. May 15, there's going to be a book signing for the um, Fire Chief Charles Teal. Um, so everybody be down there. It's May 15, like I said, 5 to 8. So I want to see people come to Passages. I want to continue to network. And um, if you like reggae, I tell you, it's, uh, it's Crucial Massive live reggae band over at Passages. This is going to be the next day, May 9th. So I want everybody to come out there. Doors open at 5. Show times is 7 to 9. And of course, there's a charge, $15. I want you to know that. And you can bring wine, whatever you like to do. And... Uh, if you want more information, just want to throw out the phone number right now, 860-523-3232. If you want to jump on the website and know about all the upcoming events that she has, Ms. Rosita Thompson, it's PassagesGalleryMusic.com. All right. And uh, while I was at Passages a couple of weeks ago, well, about a month ago, I met a very interesting person. And this is my guest today, and her name is Cheryl Glover. Cheryl Glover, excuse me. Well, I want to welcome you to Make It Happen, Cheryl. All right, how are you? Yeah. She, I thought she was re uh, related to Danny Glover, but now nah, maybe <laughs> we'll find out later. And uh, you're a praise dance choreographer and a writer. Right. Now, how did you get into... Um, praise dance choreography or choreographing your own stuff. You okay. Know, stuff. Uh, started out as a child, as a, a, a tap dancer and studying ballet right here from Hartford okay. with um, Jane Hart, Phyllis Stone, uh, Frank Hatchett. Oh, okay. Parents pushed me. They said I was a natural dancer. So <laughs> I, I loved it. And so I started studying and doing what I like, like to do. Mm. And I uh, took the journey throughout life, um, not just doing dance, but putting things together. Mm -hmm. like I like to put events together with movement and exercise and acting mm -hmm. and fashion. Um, been doing it all my life, oh. you know? So my journey has been from um, inner city Hartford to, uh, I did Broadway, New York. Um, I worked in the NBA with the Houston Rockets. Mm -hmm. I worked with some Olymp para-Olympians at the Olympics in Atlanta. And um, my journey has been a good one. You know? wow. It's been interesting. Yeah. yeah. So what was it like living in Atlanta? Because you were Okay, Atlanta, I lived there since that. 91. Um, a great place. Big city. I had to learn the city because it's big and huge. <laughs> uh, but if you have a, a goal or, or interest, they got lots, lots happening. And the arts was kind of new there in regard to dancing. And I kind of found my niche by um, 
putting together my own production company for children and mm. daycare centers, wow. churches, um, and schools and rec departments. And um, I, I put my own like f- formula of uh, for for seniors and ch- children. Mm. And I went from went to like forty five locations in Atlanta and East Point. College Park, mm. all the different locations, the, the the surrounding towns in Atlanta. I I I, I did my thing. Wow, mm-hmm. it's and a good uh, place. Yeah, yeah, you recently just moved back from. You know, you used to live in New York, so yeah. now you're back yeah. here in Harford. Yeah, I'm back. To, I'm back home to my roots. Um, <laughs> I don't know how long, but I'm here <laughs> for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, my journey to come back home, uh, to see friends, family, mm-hmm. and um, people that I, you know, was born and raised with. Um, I want to put together a production company as well as uh, a dance studio here. Okay. And not just dance, but acting and poetry and triple triple threat um stuff. Okay. Know? Yeah. That seems like it's mm-hmm. it interesting. I mm-hmm. tell you. And um, actually, we're gonna go in our second segment. You told me you write poetry. I oh do. Oh my goodness I gracious. Do. Yeah, I've been wow. doing that since I was elementary at Clark Street School. They pushed it, and I. Put it on a back burner when I had a family I have three adult grown folk children now. <laughs> yeah, um, I kind of like put my writing to the side. Mm-hmm. But once, um, uh, once everybody got out the house and um, my mother, I lost my mother, and then I had my father for like the five years after my mother. Uh-huh. I started back writing. Uh-huh. Um, they said it would be therapeutic. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's creative, and um, that's what I like to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when we both lose both of our parents, it's really hard. Right. Yeah. Because right. I, I still want to go back and see my mom because I don't get a chance to see her okay. all the time. And I, I know how you feel. Right. Um, you're going to be having some upcoming events that you're going to be having here in Hartford. So okay. can you tell everybody about, okay. about uh, that? My brother, is uh, his name is Conrad Glover, and he is a, a writer, a filmmaker. Mm-hmm. And he started his own production company about 10 years ago called uh, Conrad Glover Productions. Productions, Joko Films, mm. wrote uh, like eight books and did directing as well as putting together a whole production company of, of films. Um, he wrote a book called King of Stowe Village, and mm. it was kind of more fantasy because he was young when we left Hartford. Um, and we want to, God's will, we want to put the book into film. Yeah, so by good. the end of summer, we're working on trying to Cast it, direct it, produce it right here in Hartford, in our mm, hometown. And I'm, I'm, I'm casting director for him for previous um, projects. But this project, I really want to grab the people and my old classmates and their, their grandkids and their kids <laughs> and um, get people involved to be extras. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. That seems like it's going to be lots of fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, my goodness. Now, how long does it take a person? Well, it depends on what type of movie that you're going to be doing. How long does it take to get all the okay. numbers and all that? Okay. Um, production and all? Yeah. Right here in town, mm-hmm. it's probably going to take us at least a month. Oh. A month or two. Okay. Mm-hmm. But um, pre-production stuff is already starting. You oh. know, he's getting featured actors to come to Hartford. Okay. And... Um, we, I'm going to put an audition notice out, you okay. know, in the different publications, newspaper, radio, flyers, okay. churches, yeah, schools, yeah, word of mouth. Yeah. And then once we do that, I want talent to come right from my home, Hartford. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I noticed that the actors, they only come to New Haven. They don't come to Hartford, not all of them. That's crazy. Wow. And they should come to Hartford. This is the capital city. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what I've noticed. And, um, you were talk. We were talking last night over the phone, mm-hmm. and you were talking about you were in New York, and they do a. Hopefully, if I get this right, street jazz, hip hop, and jazz on Broadway. Right. You're gonna be doing that here right. in Connecticut. Street jazz. It's a combination of funk, hip hop, and um, street movements, okay. which is what the kids do now. And I, I'm old school, but I'm a baby <laughs> boomer, so I add my my twist to it as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I learned that in New York. Um, recently, they they just kind of like started. It's called street jazz. Yeah. Uh huh. But um, really, it's old. It's, it's just really what old. Frank Hatchett used to do. Okay. Is what um all the old choreographers did back in the day. Oh my goodness mm-hmm. gracious! Wow. I tell you, and um, actually, for people that want to get involved in your 
production because you said you're going to be having casting calls. Right. How are they going to, how are they, what's the best way to get in touch with okay. you? Okay. I have a uh-huh. Facebook page, Cheryl Glover. You can go there. Cheryl can you Glover. spell that? Okay. S H E R R I L L Glover, G L O V E R, Facebook, yeah. as well as we have phone numbers, 860 368 8667. Okay. And we're going to put out flyers and um, okay. you know, yeah. local stuff. Okay. So I'd like everybody out there in Hartford to know about what's going on and uh, what Cheryl is doing. Go ahead, Cheryl. We're going to try to have our location, our permanent location for classes and all on Farmington Avenue at 509. Really? Yeah, at Passages. Oh, okay. So oh. that will be a central location for meeting up for classes and production work. Oh, yeah. okay. That's yeah. interesting. Uh, okay. Go ahead, Miss Rosita. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, wow. And I want to leave the ladies out. In Atlanta, I put together a, a workshop for women. Uh-huh. It's it's a combination of ex- exercise, movement, and individual human potential. Uh-huh. I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm going to take one of your classes. Okay, a good, couple of good. Them. All right. Now. <laughs> so we just sweat and and enjoy mm-hmm. the music and, and just have fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what type of music do you have? I put everything together: everything? jazz, blues, praise. Okay. Whatever. All right. Okay. The latest. Because yeah. I go hip hop too. Okay. Like, I love. I'm hip-hop. sorry, y'all I have to go hip hop too. I like. I like, I like it. Too. Yeah, and sometimes uh, I like to bring in a live, um, you know, musician to. Oh yeah, that's cool. Do the cool. beats and. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, tap dance too. That don't leave my tap off. That's, <laughs> that's, that's. So what's the best shoes to buy when you're okay. doing tap dance? Well, you got to get tap shoes if you're gonna tap. If we're gonna do workout, we. Um, the high the high stepping um sneakers or they have jazz shoes and boots that we can order. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, that oh, okay. support you and keep you more, you know, for the flooring and for for stabilizing your ankles and your legs, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I was watching Annie and then um couple weeks back about a month back and they were doing tap at the end okay. it was like really interesting. Yeah, tap is good. It's a good workout. It's it's intricate. Um it, it, when you're there, you think about tap. You're not thinking about everything else around you. Really? You got to get right to concentration. Tap is, is deep, but oh, it's a wow. good, it's a good, good craft. And wow. I'm trying to preserve it because it's it's like a dying, a yeah, dry, it is. a dying, um, you know, art form which originated from us, from from, from the yeah, yeah from, from the black, black culture. Culture. Wow. Yeah, so that jazz yeah. and tap is our origination. And I want to bring it back to my hometown. Yeah. Got to keep hard for moving yeah. and keep hard for busy, right. you know, and especially for the young kids. Too. Right, right. Um, so they have something to do. Keep and you do motivational, right? I, I, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. My yeah. inspirational um, speaking, uh, my, my poetry is is motivational. Okay. Yeah, it's a good keeping, you know, pushing and in, in motion. Yeah. Positive. Now, if you go down to um, 509 Farmington Avenue, what I liked about that is motivational all her pictures there mm-hmm. and you know you have to go and check it out everybody even in the bathroom when you're going to the bathroom that's what hit me right right it's, it's really yeah, nice yeah. peaceful and everything else like that it's very mo- motivational i love going there it's beautiful yes and tell me about your son okay bit. my son juan sullivan yeah. he is a 26 year old triple threat he he quite humble young man uh-huh. but he has a talent of uh just amazing he he writes mm-hmm. um and he's working he's out in la he was raised in atlanta he, mm-hmm. he's out in la working on his own movie mm-hmm. um he teaches hip-hop uh, wow. I, I didn't even know my son had it until once <laughs> he did a hip-hop instructor and i said Juwan, you think you could do it? he said i got you ma and he did the class and they wanted him permanently wow yeah he's a natural and um yeah just a triple threat young man he does music mm-hmm. um you know proud of him and he's he's a model he's worked with um rule of runway with p diddy he worked mm-hmm. with a uh, little wayne oh yeah. he did video and um meet the browns he's been a regular meet on browns. meet the browns yeah because yeah. that's one of tyler perry's i know you know oh yeah tyler, tyler, tyler perry great. studio right in atlanta yeah 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 it's got a big studio out there right and been yet but i'll go it's nice didn't check it out nice. yeah i'd love to yeah. um let's see what i would like to ask you is what really motivated you to do the choreography, or choreography dance, you know, instructing for older people? I saw, I, I used to just go to the senior centers in, in Atlanta and mm-hmm. sit and talk 
mm-hmm. you know, just interact with seniors. And I saw how some of them was just bored. They said, I, I want to do some movement. You know, mm-hmm. I, I want to walk. I want to exercise. I want to do some stretching. I said, okay, okay. I thought about it. I said, that's my that's my calling anyway. I love mm-hmm. seniors. I love to listen to them, mm-hmm. the wisdom. And I love my movement, dance, exercise. So I said, I'm going to put... I'm gonna put a, a technique together, and mm-hmm. I started, do you know, putting my technique together, and I said, presented it to the director, and she said, do what you do, did it, and they enjoyed it, and wow. I, yeah, one one time I put the seniors and my tiny tots together, <laughs> and we we put a show on in East Point, uh, it's part of Atlanta, East okay. Point. I videotaped them, and they didn't have all this like they do now, but we recorded it, and it was uh, amazing. They did. Um, it was like memoirs of their life okay yeah, with wow. youth and the, the young kids spoke to them they told them things about life and okay. their journeys and um then i, I put choreography together uh-huh. i got the hats the the, the tambourines oh, costuming wow. and it turned out to be a nice affair oh my goodness mm-hmm. gracious so, yeah i gotta see that happen yeah yeah, yeah. yeah so I'd like to check that out yeah, so like i said um mm-hmm. From and all ages. I, I had a, a a young man. He was 88 years old. Really? In the class with us. Yeah. He was wow. good, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. What was the youngest that you taught, like, in the um, senior I, center? I, I, as a senior, um, I had, you know, from 50 up. Okay. But then I wanted to work with Tiny Tots. Um, okay. I'm talking about daycare centers because Atlanta has millions of daycare centers. So I said, I better hit this market so that I could keep working and <laughs> doing what I do. So um, I presented another curriculum for seniors for, t- for, for tiny tots mm-hmm. and was able to I, as young as three years old I, I put work together and it turned out i did 45 locations in a wow it's mm-hmm. fantastic well we'll be right back with cheryl glover make it happen Connecticut Gospel in association with Trinity on May presents a spring 2015 gospel blockbuster featuring Jay Caldwell and the gospel ambassadors from Wilmington, Delaware. Sunday, May 3rd, doors open at 3 o'clock p.m. at the First Lutheran Church of the Reformation, 77 Franklin Square, New Britain. Also appearing, the group Fire, the Brothers That Love the Lord, and the Kirkama Community Choir, 860-890-5571. Some insurance companies brag that they could be on the scene of the accident right after it happens. Whose interest do they have in mind? Yours? I don't think so. You may be one paycheck between you and the street. You have three children working in another town. You need that car and you need it fast. If you have an accident, call me. Attorney Jeffrey Dressler, 24-7-11-22. Hi, welcome back. And I'm here with Cheryl Glover. And we were talking about her experience of praise, dance, choreography. And now we're going to talk about her, you know, her writing, her poetry. She's actually doing a whole lot. Um, Before we get into that, let's talk about this exercise workout that's going to be going on. This is nice. Um, Can you talk about that dance, tap, jazz, creative human movement potential? This really does relieve stress. And what we need in our day-to-day lives is to release stress because there's so much going on uh, in the world today. So go ahead. Okay, yeah. I'd like to offer um, 
my own technique, which is a combination of um, exercise um, from head to toe. Mm -hmm. um, I have chair exercises. I also do oh, for yeah. people that can't get up and move around. You know, can't yep. be mobile oh, definitely. as well. And um, it's just a, a personal journey. You know, mm -hmm. you go at the rate that you can go. I'm not pushing anybody. Oh yeah. You know, out the chair. You know, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, and I. I I, I do from a combination of jazz to um, just basic stretching and mm -hmm. deep breathing and all. And uh, it's, it's cool. You know? yeah. it, it gives you um, not only a physical, but it, it eases you, your mind. Yes. You know, get, and you start building up a better confidence about yourself mm -hmm. and uh, shed some pounds if we can. Yeah. You know, you know, we yeah. are after, after just the winter. Then added pounds, which mm -hmm. I did myself, um, and we want to work them off. Mm -hmm. And I, I do walking around with them with movement, mm -hmm. you know. And then I add my my technique, a little jazz dance, yeah. uh, and even some folks even tried a little soft shoe tap with me. Oh, right. and enjoyed it. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. great. You know, exercise is not the daily workout grunge, you know, of like you got to do this right, and it's right, really hard. Right. It's relaxing and, and doing what you like right, and enjoy right. and help the people that they like that too. Mm -hmm. So I, I got to really check that out. I'm so excited about that one girl, okay. I tell you. Right. And you have two daughters. We were just talking about uh, that. Right. And right. tell me a little bit about your daughters. Okay. You My oldest is Danielle. Um, she's 33 and um, born and raised in Connecticut, but at 10 years old, we moved to Atlanta and she ended up getting it, you know, accustomed to Atlanta uh -huh. lifestyle. Yeah. And uh, she's an athlete. Um, she's a writer. And, and she went to a magnet school in Atlanta where Outcast went. It's called Tri-City Magnet. Okay. And um, I taught there. I taught tap there. As, and I was a I was a class model for, for the art department at one point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, great school. Uh, Outcast went there and a few other people. CeeLo Green. Oh, CeeLo Green. Oh, yeah. I like the group oh, Outcast. Yeah. Yeah. Outcast. Oh, yeah. Outcast is tough. Isn't that good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of great people came from there. TLC. Oh, okay. wow. Uh -huh. Yeah. And um, Danielle, um, right now she's working uh, Georgia Tech. She's director just... of hospitality. Okay. That's and uh, she just got married a year ago to one of the whole Evander Holyfield's nephew. Yeah, the fights this weekend. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, yeah. Who's uh, yeah. going to win it? I, I got to see it now. Uh, I got to find somewhere <laughs> right. to go. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. they probably be charging at the door like always, you know. All right. Um, I think uh, it's like a hundred and something. How much is it on pay review? A hundred and something. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I've only watched one fight on cable. I forgot who that was. Oh, and fight of the yeah. decade. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be good. Yeah. Wow. Gee whiz. Um. So everybody tune in and uh, check out the fight tonight. I believe. Oh, yeah. it is oh, wow. tonight. Oh my goodness. Was it um Pacquiao and Holyfield? Right. right. Yeah. Nope. Mayweather. 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 I'm sorry, Mayweather. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Mayweather, you know, you know I haven't been keeping right. on my box and I'm sorry everybody, but uh, Mayweather. Yeah. <laughs> and you were just saying Mayweather. So I don't know why I was thinking about Holyfield for some reason. Well, we just talked about Yeah. Holyfield. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm gonna move on to your poetry. Okay. Okay. And actually, um, the different types of poetry that you wrote. Okay, um, I wrote uh, life experiences, mm -hmm. inspirational gospel Christian style mm -hmm. as well. And uh, some rhyming, a little rhyming, okay. but a lot of it just from life, my journey. Okay. You know, uh, people, places, and things. Okay, okay. that's mm -hmm. cool. Now what's the first? Okay. Um, I'm gonna have her read some poetry that she did. Okay. And what is the, uh, when you get a chance, let me know the name of Okay. The Okay, this one is called uh, Love Love Bites. Okay. Okay. Okay, Love Bites. Ready for it? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> love Bites are sweet, sentimental lollipops. Sure signs of pure, sensual, bubbling brown sugar. Raw, organic, flavored, tasty treats. Stamps of honey dripping, thick and gooey, syrupy, eye candy. Oh, wow. Lions, tigers, tigers and bears. Roars of hugs and carefree love. Sweet syrupy and dripping with honey and spices fulfilling and enchanting oh so profound lickety on a drumstick flick on a bit delightful delicious and daring sugar coated and lickety cupid sparkling peppermint cinnamon heartfelt love bites it's dazzling 
Mm, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Wow. It's really nice. Uh, now how long does it take you to um just you just think of different stuff that's oh, happening just, in your life? It just comes it might come out the blue. That's okay. Well, okay. you know, we have a caller, but uh, we can't answer right <laughs> now. So we have to move on with the poetry. Uh, right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got one called Brown Girl Shine. All right. Brown girls, quintessential, fine, deep, spirit-filled fruition, and pure as grapes on a vine. Fabulous, fierce, courageous, a multitude of shades, illuminating and radiant as a star. Pretty, polished, and oh so precious, the image you are. Almighty made you as a child of God. Compliment your brown girl's tones, high style. Mm -hmm. Brown girls shine on. Threebrowngirls.org. That's the latest. Georgia peach led, Connecticut bread. I am. No. New England quaint. True to the bone. And so no lighter than the paper bag syndrome. That's not what we're doing on the mad, mister. Brown girls as beautiful as the entrance that you were in. You were delivered here. High strength, light, beige, brown, red, brown, dark brown. We are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Brown girl shine. Oh, that's nice. Right. And it's nice when people do poetry because they really are expressing themselves. That's right. And uh, I haven't really gotten to poetry yet. I have, uh, maybe I'll do one. I don't know when. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. um, I used to be a writer. What do, you, what do you say for people that want to write but just can't, you know, get it out there? What's your suggestion? Well, I'll just say uh, get a piece of a, a, a pen and paper. <laughs> and whenever you feel like you have an urge or impulse that says, I got an idea, mm -hmm. write it down. Mm -hmm. When you got something good or bad or indifferent, write it down. Mm -hmm. And then it'll come together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you ever teach people to do poetry to us? I haven't mm -hmm. really taught it, but I express it. You know, oh, okay. I and mean, explore it. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm going to put it together with my uh, dance, and it's called Choir, Choir, Choir Poetry. Yeah, when well, yeah. people just do mm -hmm. dance with the, oh, I right. love that. And that's, nice. that's what I want to put produce here in, in home, at okay. home here in Hartford. I got one more poem to do. Okay. And oh. it's in tribute to my father. His name was uh, Charles Sonny Glover. Okay. And his peers here in Hartford called him Glamour Glover. <laughs> rest in peace, Daddy. This yeah. is something that I. Go ahead. My daddy was a man of many talents. One hand, he was a brilliant man child, educated through the inner city streets of Hartford CT, Connecticut, baby. He was a book scholar, a pool ball, ball shark, a master chess trivia. He was a courageous fighter, a paratrooper, a mm. Korean War four-time medal, 19-year-old, mm. heavy equipment operator for the Hartford City. 34 years, my man. A straight, cold woman's eye candy. Honey for the lovely money. That was Sonny. Daddy was street pairs named him Glamour Glover. Mm -hmm. He was fine as mellow wine. Black man hurt very early on. He was brought in from at Bellevue Square. He was two brothers ahead of him and one behind. Charles mm -hmm. Alexander Glover. Rest in peace, Dad. Oh, that's beautiful. Right. That is so nice. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And she's got... Her big old book. Uh, I tell you, you just keep on writing, girl. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, now, for acting, um, you went to acting school, too. Right? Oh, I did. Yeah. So I went, which acting school did you go to? I went to, to Hartford Conservative, Southern, Southern Connecticut University. Uh -huh. It was Southern Connecticut State when I went there. I went to uh, private lessons on West Hartford. Okay. With, um, my mother took me there as, like, nine or ten years old with uh yvonne schaefer she was really good oh, okay and i studied in new york um at the clark center mm -hmm. and uh, broadway dance center and um uh, down in atlanta as well oh wow mm -hmm. the acting classes are very unusual <laughs> yeah they are. because you have to learn how to do certain things which is i took a couple of them okay which i thought was very nice and um you're very serious about acting or doing that take a couple of classes so you know, what do you think about the Harvard Stage Company as far as I, I enjoy it? I, I did you ever go there? Yeah, I, I never studied there, but I remember the Clay Stevenson when he did Guys and Dolls and uh -huh. a few other plays here back in the day. Okay. Um, I enjoy it. Yeah. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. And they have theater works, and uh, I know it's not an acting company, but I know actors do go there. Have you seen any of their plays? Not lately, but I'm mm -hmm. um, um, look forward to it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but I liked it. I liked to actually um, 
really see what the movie's about. And, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, yeah. Want to see how you do it and produce it? I like to be the person that says action, take one. And all okay, that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh we my god. Yeah, yeah I'll do something. Okay. okay. Put, put my name down. Yeah, right. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> um now what kind of advice do you would you give a person who wants to um dance but oh, really have a heart? Yeah, oh, okay. dance, yeah. Uh, if you're interested, just uh take the initiative, talk to whoever is your sponsor, because mm -hmm. it's not free nowadays, you know. Um because it's going to be a few dollars, you oh, know. Wow. You got classes and everybody got to get, that's the way they make okay. their living, yeah. you know. Um, just check out what's available in the area. Um, if you got little ones, I'm going to do something here in Hartford. Okay. And for for the youth as well as adults, mm -hmm. um, upcoming for the summertime, uh, registration will start at the end of this month. Oh, okay. Great. Yep. And I'll post that on facebook as well as um flyers and mm -hmm. on the radio um just you know yeah facebook is yeah facebook is amazing because you can go inside facebook and just type somebody a personal message too if you don't want your business out there right that's what i usually do inbox. for contact right, i right. inbox people yeah right because i don't like people uh knowing oh, what i'm business. talking about right. sometimes yeah your business right. and that's the best thing to do and actually when i first met you i want to say i really enjoyed meeting you Same here. and it's a pleasure to find out what you actually do you, you've done a lot and how do you know um rosita from passages i how walked you know? in there uh, being not nosy but inquisitive because okay. i saw it was a art gallery yeah. and that's my i love art i love anything in, in regard to artistic mm -hmm. and i said let me take a step in and i introduced myself yeah. and we've been all right ever since beautiful yeah. Beautiful, beautiful person. Place. Yeah, mm -hmm. she beautiful is. Place. And it's amazing how you meet so many different people. Right. Last week I've met a, a whole lot of people and it's like, it's so amazing. And the talent that is there right. and the talent that is in Hartford, Hartford yeah. you know, yeah. you don't know what's really out there unless you go to passages sometimes. I, you know, good, good place. Met yeah. a lot of people there. Right. Yeah. yeah. Since I've been home, it's been a great place to network mm -hmm. and just meet new folks yeah, yeah. and uh vine was a nice place I, I like to network with people and say hey what do you do you know right. can i have you on my show right. but it's like uh, i tell you it's interesting and um good luck to your son All that's right. out there oh, okay thank uh, you and your kids too right wow. thank you everybody trying to do move ahead and yeah we count, count my blessings every day for progress you mm -hmm. know yeah. And I, I want to say this, my grandmother, uh, one grandmother was Malcolm X's um, good friend. And really? She, she, held, she held the meetings in our apartment in Bellevue Square. Wow. Her name was Rosalie Glover. Really? Ramsey Glover. Wow. And then all the old school and the people, uh, elders, they know of my grandmother as being the innovator of um, Temple Number 14 before they got Temple Number 14. Wow. And my other grandmother, I want to say something about her. Okay. She was the first woman in the state of Connecticut to have a barbershop to open and right on Barber Street. Too, really? To, yeah, Charlotte Richards. And that was my mother's mother. Oh, wow. And so I can say it come from really strong women. Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, what I want to do is I want to thank you for coming on my oh, show. You, and we got to stay connected here because <laughs> I, sure. I want to do the exercise and the, everything else like that. And get involved also in Hartford, too. All right. So sure. I want to, yeah, I want to say out there, everybody that's in New Paul, if you have anybody out there, my blessings are with you. Um, my uh, cousin is out there. I guess she's uh, working out there. But God bless her. Thank you that you're saved. Uh, God bless you. And Derek Lee, yes, I'm going to say your name. He's uh, one of those rescue people. He helps the people that are in disasters okay. like that. So God bless your heart. And um, definitely, Dave Supernot, take care. Your surgery, and uh, you'll be fine. All right. So uh, next time, look out for Make It Happen Again. And remember to watch it, like it, and share it. I keep on forgetting to do that. I want to keep on doing it all the time because I want everybody to watch it, like it, and, and continue to share it. God bless everybody. <laughs>